you feel like you go on social media and you see all these amazingly perfect women and you feel like you need to get some Botox, some filler, some a bit of lip injections, you need to get rid of some of your stretch marks, need to be skinnier, whatever the situation is, I'm here to tell you the truth. <laughs> I feel like this has all started from when we were young. Um, in my case, when I was in primary school, I was always kind of told to fit in and to, I guess, go with the girls and, you know, be like one of them. I was, a, I was kind of a tomboy. I liked to hang out with the boys more. And also everyone had straight hair and I was the only, one of the only people that had curly hair and I thought that was very weird. So I used to get my mum to iron my hair. Yes, she used to iron my hair. It was crazy, but it is what it is, right? So I feel like when we're younger, we're always told to like fit into our peers and if you're different, there's something wrong with you. And also if you want to go further back, dolls you know barbie dolls i was obsessed with barbie dolls i still remember i had a barbie doll that i would take everywhere with me and she was absolutely beautiful and she literally had a waistline as small as my neck you know beautiful big lips these big sultry eyes a small nose flawless skin straight hair i don't think there was a doll with curly hair um they'd all wear mini things they'd all have perfect bodies and i feel like when you're younger you think that's the idealistic or that's how women are meant to look when in reality we all come in different shapes and sizes and we all look so different and we're all beautiful the way we are but society especially nowadays tells us differently if you look at all the people that a lot of women look up to kim kardashian tammy hembro you know bella hadid is also another idolization for these young girls and i've noticed that they all have this very similar look to them right they all have perfect bodies they've all got these beautiful lifted eyes you know nice plump lips tiny noses their facial streak structures are literally perfect and i don't think this is a coincidence i truly think they either all go to the same surgeon or they all kind of have it's like a trend where you're, you have to kind of look a certain way and then people like us think that that's the normal when really it's not it's it's how, it's how they want to look and that's totally fine nothing against all of that but it's just not realistic you know we live in a world where social media now is i guess the thing that people look up to whereas before it was like magazines and tv shows and stuff like that and i think instagram now has taken a whole new toll on people's lives in a good and bad way bad way as these celebrities are trying to perfect themselves because if they don't then they're scared that we're not going to idolize them because they're not perfect anymore they're human and they don't want to look human they want to look i guess like a doll <laughs> you know i think that's the best way i can describe it because i don't understand how else normal people are meant to think that that's a normal way to look i don't think it's realistic you know just remember they have the best access to everything and even in saying that like i didn't said in my previous video they still have pores and texture and stretch marks and you know they gain weight and they have saggier skin and it's so normal that people that are looking at that that don't know that that's normal think there's something wrong with them and I just, i'm just here to tell you there's nothing wrong with you. you're so perfect the way you are and your uniqueness bring something that no one else has i did a bit of research as well and i wanted to suss out like who manufactured these dolls who kind of came up with this stuff and it was a rich powerful man and if you look at skincare skincare labels and the biggest beauty brands that are very high end majority are big powerful men and it kind of goes back to are we still letting men dictate our lives or the beauty standard without really doing it I just think it's crazy there's no shade to men i love men but i just think it's so crazy that we still like that men have this idea of their perfect woman and we try to be so real and so authentic to us but yet we still fall in these traps and it's so hard because when you look at these skincare brands or these high fashion um sorry high-end products you see all these gorgeous stunning women and you think that if you buy that you're going to look like that or smell like that or have skin like that when really they don't even have that you know what i mean like they can only do so much to portray an image when it's unrealistic this is something that i had to mention i don't know if you guys know about this but it was a thing and i have to mention it white toenails 
it is even in songs where guys talk about women that have white toenails nothing wrong with that i get it sometimes but the only reason i got it was because i realized it was a trend and i'm like oh my god if i get white toenails maybe guys are gonna be like oh look at her nose <laughs> so it's just crazy when you actually start to think about it how these little things that people put in our minds make us feel more beautiful when really you are so beautiful the way you are and they are too but they're just they're chasing an image that is not portrayable with photoshop and um, i guess a lot of makeup and good lighting everything can look so much better but in reality it's so different like the craziest thing that i heard was when i went to my surgeon to ask him for some tips on my face just because i was also a bit insecure at the stage he was telling me because i'm a makeup artist he's like oh do a lot of people tell you they want the fox eye and i said why do you ask he's like well girls that are 16 plus 16 years old i cannot even believe that are coming to him and saying they want to get the surgery to have a fox lift now i have tape that i do for my editorial looks because i think it's a bit more chic and it's just fun you know but to do that permanently is something i probably wouldn't do or recommend this actual fox eye trend is actually for older women who have saggier eyelids or saggy skin around there so they can lift it so they can have a more i guess lifted face without having a fox eye they just look more like I guess not saggy but now young girls that are 16 years old are getting actual surgery to cut off oh my god to cut off skin and to tighten it like that is so baffling to me and it's actually sad that we're trying to look like a fox or whatever the hell that trend is I think it's kind of crazy like we can do that with lashes we can have a wing and it makes your eyes look a bit different like you don't need to actually go surgery but again people like Bella Hadid and other these beautiful supermodels have had that done or we think right so we think oh my god that's the new trend we got to do that but in a few years time that trend is going to go out let's go back to when makeup was a thing and look at how how it's evolved makeup has evolved through centuries you know there's always a new trend and it's going to be physically impossible and mentally draining for you to try and maintain a trend that isn't sustainable because it's always going to be changing and that's why even with fashion i always say this like especially to my mom i always say i make my own fashion trends because i truly believe if you love something you can make it work no matter what it is you know and if we look at fashion now a lot of the fashion in the olden days the 80s the 70s that's coming back in trend now that wasn't a thing about a few years ago that was like what the hell but if you like something just roll with it i'm a big believer in that i just think that the beauty standard is so unsustainable all these high-end products that some of them don't even work that well i love some drugstore products let me know if you want to see more drugstore videos because i have heaps of that um i just think it's not realistic to break your bank and break your mentality and break who you are as a person and your image like i'm i'm all about if you don't really like something for yourself and you want to fix it go for it but if you want to be like someone else or you want to just follow the trend i just kind of think that's not really sustainable and also if you look at 80 percent of influencers and models and celebrities they all have the same features big lips small nose caddish eyes the laminated brows high cheekbones usually straight hair and tan skin and that's what i see every day now especially around the west which is kind of crazy to me but i just want you to realize that you should be unique the way you are i just feel like your beauty your uniqueness is what shines through and no matter how much people try to look differently with all these little things that they still do like everyone else you're just kind of like another clone of someone and you start to lose yourself mentally and physically and emotionally and then you're just stuck in this thing like oh my god what's the next trend i have to go do this again and you're just wasting your time and your money when you can be spending that on investing in yourself or making more money by investing or something like that you know what i mean but i just really wanted this video to be to all my beautiful queens who have been feeling like i guess you're not good enough 
for the new beauty standard but in reality you are your own beauty standard you are beautiful the way you are and there's no one like you like i always say so just remember that and yeah i hope this video has helped you a bit to understand that this goes back centuries and no matter how many times we try to portray you know the hourglass figure um the big breasts the, whatever it is right no stretch marks which is normal and can i just say it is also normal not to bounce back after a pregnancy straight away that is so normal and embrace that because people want to see normal things people want to feel like oh my god someone can relate with me and that's why i'm doing this because i want you to be able to relate with me and understand that i'm happy with how i am and how i look at my curly frizzy hair <laughs> so i want you to be happy with yourself too and i understand that we all have a little insecurities but the more we embrace that and the more we realize that that's who we are and that's what makes us who we are I feel like you just radiate a different energy and you bring something different to the table and something more unique you know what i mean so i love you all so much thank you all so much for watching make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button if you like this video and i will see you in my next video Mwah. bye